Rena Sofer. You know about sleepless nights, Brenda? Let me tell you. When you know the one man who promised to love you as his wife until death do you part is in bed with another woman who somehow happens to be his other wife, then you know that your best friend knows this and hasn't bothered to even tell you the truth. And the Emmy goes to... Rena Sofer, General Hospital. This is Rena Sofer's first win and first nomination for her role as Lois on General Hospital. She has been with the show for almost two years. You're taken away from my time. Jackie Zeman, I think you are the best, and you should be up here. Um, I have, it's just gonna be quick, um, I have to thank Claire Labine, uh, Wendy, Francesca, all the writers, producers, directors, cast and crew of General Hospital, Mark Teschner, my angel, Karen Foreman, my agent angel, my father, my mother, Elva David, my best friend, Jenny Girl, and my friend, Paul, Ellen Travolta, my mommy, and most of all, I couldn't have done this without you, Wally. You're an actor who lets me just go. You have brought love into my life, your child's love into my life. I'm not pregnant. And <laughs> you have brought your family's love into my life, and that means everything in the entire world to me, and I love you. Thank you. <laughs> My marriage certificate. Lois. Oh, and for many happy returns. <laughs> Try this one on for size. Not only am I Mrs. Ned Ashton, but Mr. Ned Ashton is none other than Mr. Eddie May. You tell them, Eddie. <laughs> what is this? What does it mean? Oh, it means that Ned and Eddie's double life is over just like eddie promised me it means you're not mrs ned ashton and i'm not mrs eddie main and edward lawrence ashton is the biggest liar on the face of the earth celebrate that one catherine Lois. have a great party folks Lois, Lois. is it true Let go. is it true yes Lois. Listen to me. Who loves me? I don't know who you are. I don't even think you know who you are. I'm Ned Ashton, who fell in love with a woman who changed my life, who made me love her and need her in a way that I have never loved or needed anyone. You lied to me from day one. You let me give my heart to a lie and center everything I am around it. And while I was busy doing that, you were having an affair with somebody else. And then for some reason that I will never be able to understand, you married me, and then you married her. So this is your idea of love? Blackmail. What? Catherine blackmailed my family. And marriage to me was part of the deal. But I'm not married to her because I married you first. What kind of a family lets a person get blackmailed into marriage? What kind of family I was trying to protect you from. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I thought you were trying to protect them. From somebody with a Brooklyn accent, half a college education, who manages a rock band. No, no, that is the farthest thing from the truth. You've got to believe me. Then why didn't you tell me who you were? And why didn't you tell them about me? Because by the time I knew that I loved you, 
I knew that the person you loved was Eddie Main. And I didn't want to lose you. And I... I didn't know how to get out of it. Well, you're out of it now, Pat. No, 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 no. Let go of me, Eddie, or whoever you are. Trying to hold on to Catherine until I could get enough evidence against her, okay? To neutralize this threat to the family. But I have it now. Matt gave it to me last week. I was planning to tell her tomorrow. And then I was going to come straight to you with the whole story. You can ask Brenda. Okay, she knows all of this. She knows what I've been through. You know what, Brenda? It's a different matter. And I'll deal with Brenda. Both of you are liars. But your lies are worse. And I am never going to forgive you. I'm so sorry. For what? For everything. For not knowing what to do. Oh, yeah? Like the obvious never occurred to you? There huh? was no obvious. Sure. So it's please, you don't understand. You got that right. Ned is my friend, too. I love you both. You were supposed to love me more. You were my best friend. You were my girlfriend. You were my woman friend. You were my partner. How could you apply to me? Ned was in love with you. And he was in love with himself as Eddie Maine. And he was so afraid that he was going to lose both of you if you found out the truth. He was using me, Brenda. And you helped him do it. No, he wasn't, I swear. Lois, well, he was he was having so much fun with you and he was changing. I mean, he was really becoming Eddie Maine. But he still had to be Ned Ashton. It was Ned Ashton who told you the lie about being a salesman because he was he was undercover in Buffalo and he was checking out some competitive hotel. I know he was what? Didn't he tell you any of this? No. I didn't give him a chance. And I don't intend to. Oh, it's the night that he took me to meet you in that club. I really knew that he was in love with you, and I could see how you felt about him, and I begged him to tell you the truth. Oh, then, like either of you would have known the truth if it beat you on the leg. Don't you understand that he was scared? He told me that a woman like you could never love Ned Ashton. And he said that Lois Cirillo would never understand why he had to lie to her in the first place. Don't you see? He told me that he had to keep this whole thing going because he'd never been so happy in his whole life. And that is the truth. So that was before I knew you. That was when I was just some chicky Ashton kept on the side, okay? But what about later, Brenda? What about partner? I know, remember? He tried to keep you from starting the record company. Yeah, but you didn't. Because I was hoping that it would force him to have to tell you. Because I couldn't hurt you. As opposed to me watching Mr. and Mrs. Catherine Bell Ashton on the late night news. Oh, God, I can't believe you saw that. What did he think, huh? What did you think, that he could go on like this forever? No! He was gonna tell you. He said he was gonna tell you. Mac only just got the information he needed on Catherine, and he was gonna let her have her stupid party, and then... He was going to tell you tomorrow, Lois. He was. Yeah, well, I heard that whole blackmail story, and I don't believe it either. Ask the quartermaids. It's true. Ask Lila. Ask Jason. They all knew about this. No. Not about you. No, none of them knew about you until tonight. No. Did Corinthos know? Sonny found out along with everyone else when he jumped out of that cake. And Sonny's furious with me. Good. You deserve it. No, oh, Lois, please. What did you think was going to happen when Ned... Eddie, when Nedley finally came clean, huh? I don't know. I guess I just thought that you guys loved each other so much that you would figure out a way to work it out. Wrong. Lois, please, don't... Lois, please. What about Alan B? What about... What about Miguel and his band, Lois? What about all of our plans? Why are you so upset, Brenda? Because of the company? Because you're afraid you won't be able to play record company anymore? Don't do that. Tell the truth, heaven forbid. L&B is important to me because it's us. You are the first true friend I've ever had, Lois. You know that. Yeah? Well, then how do you treat your enemy? Well, I certainly don't sit up all night and worry sick about them. You want to know about sleepless nights, Brenda? Let me tell you. When you know the one man 
because you trusted and believed in the man you loved like wildfire, who you gave your heart and your dreams to, who promised to love you as his wife until death do you part. And you know that that man is a quarter of a mile up the drive in bed with another woman who somehow happens to be his other wife. And then you know that your swatted phone best friend knows this and hasn't bothered to even tell you the truth. That is bad. It's a sleepless night. Lois, I don't know what to say to you. How about so long, Lois? It's been real. No, where are you going? It's vanity. No! It's...